Hey everybody, what is happening? This is Chris Ellerbrook with the Ely Winter Festival. And we're back here in Whiteside Park in Ely, Minnesota for the Snow Sculpting Symposium at the Ely Winter Fest. And uh, let's check it out, let's see what's happening. Check it out. As you can see, uh, as you can see the guys that were working on the fish yesterday are, well, I'm not sure if they're quite wrapped up yet. Let's take a peek here. They've uh, made a lot of progress since yesterday. They are not here currently working, so I'm thinking they might be done. Maybe did a lot of detail work. Some neat scale texture for the fish. This is an Ely trout. Looks like it's sitting on some rocks. And they may not be quite done yet. I'm not sure the tail is tail has got a bit of snow underneath it and they may be cutting that out yet. They might be waiting until the last minute to do that. All right, let's keep moving. Carl and his team are hard at it again today. You guys might remember from yesterday, they were working on a sculpture here, working using a reference, which is a globe and hands holding the globe. Hey guys! Hi! How's it going today? Good! A little chilly. It is definitely ch uh, chillier today than it was yesterday. For those of you who are joining us from afar, it is... Uh, it's sub-zero temperatures today with winds that are giving us a uh, probably minus 20 or lower wind chill. So everybody's bundled up. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's looking great, guys. You can see the hands coming out are holding the ball here. And they're putting on some more details. When do you guys expect you'll wrap up? Tomorrow? Tomorrow at the latest, yeah. All right, sounds good. We're thinking we're going to be really close to being done by the end of the day. Well, this cold weather will be a motivator to finish sooner than later, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> See you guys. All right, our next block here is Cade. Right, we talked Chris. to Cade yesterday. Hey, Cade. Good to see you. On this side, I've done all the work on the other side today. All right, I'll walk around here and uh, see how it's coming along. Oh uh, yeah, you can certainly see some detail here. Cade said yesterday that it is uh, it's kind of a, uh, a grinder of sorts. So we'll we'll see how that looks here in the next day or so as he's finishing things up. All right, let's move on. This next block here, if you remember from yesterday, was Chris Coivisto and his crew. And they are working on a steampunk raven. And uh, yesterday we didn't have a whole lot to look at other than his sculpture. But now you can see that the beak and the face are starting to come through. And as we come around this side, you'll be able to see some of the gears and stuff from that steampunk design that we saw in the sculpture reference. How's it going today, Chris? Good, how are you guys doing? Good. We're doing our live stream again, we're a little trying, virtual we're, we're tour. We're trying to work on the outside the wind side here a little. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think it's like 20, minus 20 below or more with the wind chill today. Chilly when I gotta take my gloves off, but uh, do some less detail. But it's coming along. Yeah, it's so. looking great. It's looking great. I'm um, yeah. guessing there'll be feathers to do and things at some point. Yeah, so that's the kind of stuff as it gets colder, and then we can be on the back side, feathers over there. So we'll do some of this detail stuff while I'm still warm and have dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I can still move my fingers. That makes and, sense. Uh, and then, yeah, texturing up some feathers. And 
All right, sounds good. Hey, it's coming along nicely. Thanks for talking with us. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for joining us, huh? All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, we got Jamie and her crew again. And boy, what a difference a day makes. This one is an interesting piece. It's very low to the ground, but that's what otters do. They stay low to the ground. Hi, ladies. How's it going today? Good. Good. Oh, it's looking great. For those of you who tuned in yesterday, you might remember we looked at their drawings and uh, they had three otters and they're all in various states of running and sliding. This guy over here is low and sliding and the one in the middle is kind of humped up, getting ready to slide. It's really coming along nicely. For those of you who are wondering maybe why there's only four or uh, five sculptures this year, it's because of the uh, pandemic. We, as a Winterfest committee, decided to keep the symposium small with just local teams and not encourage those from out of town to come and sculpt with us, although we really wish they were here. We're really missing them this year and we're really looking forward to having them back next year. So, we've had some really good progress here in Whiteside Park for the Snow Sculpting Symposium. And we'll be back again at least one more time for a virtual tour tomorrow as the teams finish up their sculptures. And then we'll be putting together kind of a final showpiece for everybody to see after the ropes and all the teams have pulled out. And uh, we'll be able to show you the sculptures with uh, people walking around and enjoying the scenery. So from Whiteside Park, this is Chris Ellibrook signing off and we'll see you tomorrow.